Michaela with LearnWire here, and today we are going to go over Pineapple Builder. Pineapple Builder is an AI website builder, so you can input the website idea that you have, and it will build your website for you. Now, Pineapple Builder is not currently on AppSumo, so you'll have to go to their website and purchase your license directly through them. They have three different licensing tiers. They have their starter license for totally free, you get one page, you get a limited AI assistant, you get the pineapple subdomain, you get free SSL and CDN, you get email support, and you get three basic generations. The basic plan, which is going to be best for starting businesses, starts at $12 a month. You get everything in the starter plan. Additionally, you get unlimited pages. You get to train your custom AI assistant. You get a custom domain. You can remove the pineapple badge. You get a custom 404 page. You can have widgets and code embeds. You get the SEO Performance Plus. You can have a contact form. You get AI image generation. You can have web analytics and AI designer. And you get email collection of up to 1,000 customers. You also get Support Plus. So with that, you get SEO feedback, you get conversion insights, you get the web roasting service, and you also get one custom design per month. Finally, you have the grow plan, which includes everything in the basic plan, plus unlimited blog posts, you get a custom AI blog writing, you get a custom blog writing AI, you get three times more AI tokens, you get password pages, you can have a blog and page, and you also get email collection of up to 5,000 customers. With the Support Plus, you also get two auto blog posts per month and two custom designs per month. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. This is the Pineapple Builder dashboard. Right away, we can create our website with a website prompt right here. We can also see our members and our workspace settings. We currently don't have any emails that we've collected, so let's go ahead and go to our website and create our new website. So we already have a few different templates for you to choose from. We have a few light colored ones. We've got this nice yellow one right here, kind of a darker theme, and then we also have this super artsy one right here. I am going to go ahead and use Zane because I like the darker theme. So let's go ahead and customize this. So now we can go ahead and input all of the details with our business name. So we'll just call this business name. We have the website language, which is going to be English. We can also set our business details. So we're just going to say that our business is we are taking your YouTube clips and making them funny. Okay, so I just made a dumb little description. So it's just taking YouTube clips and making them funny since 2024. That's right, we'll take your basic YouTube clips and make them super funny and relatable. You'll get so many views, you won't even know what to do with yourself. Like longer clips, that's fine, we can do that too. Okay, so our target audience is people who want to grow their YouTube channel and make a living by creating content online for people to watch. It doesn't matter what genre of YouTube you do, we'll make you successful. That's our target audience. Now we can also select an AI version. We have ChatGPT 3.5 or 4. We will go ahead and just do 3.5 because we don't have any tokens. All right, so let's do next. All right, so now we want to pick our website type and then define our goal. So our industry, there's a nice drop down menu so we can go ahead and choose what industry that we are in. Let's see, we are in, we are in marketing and advertising. Now we can choose our website type. So do we want a blog? Do we want a business website, directories, documentation, an e-commerce site, an educational site, entertainment, a landing page, a membership, nonprofit? Do we want a single page, a personal or a portfolio? So this is going to be our business website. And our website goal is to gather leads. And then we can also share an example website. So if there's a website that we really like, we can input that here and it will take inspiration from that website. So let's go ahead and do next. Now we can tell it about our offer. So we can select our offer type. So we have no offers. If this is going to be physical products, maybe digital products, services or events, we're going to offer our services and then our offer details are going to be other. 
because this is more like video editing and stuff. All right, so how many unique items or services do we offer? We will have two to five, and then we can set our unique selling points right here. Fortunately, it's not included in our free plan, but you can set those right here. So let's go ahead and do next. Now we can set the personality of our brand. So are we approachable? Are we authentic? Maybe we're dynamic or innovative or trustworthy or user-friendly. We'll go ahead and go with approachable. We can also set the voice attributes. So we are assertive or maybe we're uh, conversational and engaging. Maybe we are encouraging and inspirational. Maybe we're friendly or informative or professional yet relatable. I'm gonna go with professional yet relatable. And then we can also include any additional information, which I can't do right now because it requires the pro plan and I don't have that. Okay, so now what do we need on our website? Do we want ads? Maybe we want a block or a chat bot or we want to collect emails or payments or social feeds or maybe analytics or whatever have you. Let's go ahead. We'll do ads and then we can select how many pages we want our website to have. So if we want it to have one page, so all of our information is just on that one page, or if we want to have multiple pages for multiple different contents, that's totally fine. We'll just go ahead and do the one page and let's start our generation. All right, so our page has been built. That really did not take super long at all. I think it took like maybe 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we transform your clips into comedy gold. We have a picture right here of a dog that has a weird look on his face with a chewed up toy. I'm not entirely sure how that would necessarily relate to what we're offering, but that's okay. So boost your YouTube views with our hilarious editing magic. We can get started try now. Struggling to stand out, elevate your content game. Okay, unleash viral potential. Okay, then we have our reviews. Perfect, nice. Lorem Ipsum Dollar Sit Ahmed. Now we can get started now. So we have all of our information on one page. So we can go ahead and adjust our design style right here on this side. So right now we have a dark palette, but if we want, we can set it to more of a vivid color or maybe a pale pattern. Or if we want it just to be completely white, we can do that too. I kind of like the dark and vivid look with these palette styles. It will also give us some suggested palettes right here. So we have our website background color. I'm gonna put that a little darker and then we can change our color palette right here. So we have bold, we could do minimal, maybe we want green or we want strong or we want yellow or grape. We can have all of these right here or if we wanna choose our own palette, we can click on this add palette right here and we can choose whatever colors that we want. Next, we can change our text font. So right now we have the enter or maybe we want bitter. We could do that or Roboto. We can also select that. Poppins or Montserrat, whatever we want. Or if there's a font that we already have that we want to use, we can add that by clicking the add font right here. We can also change the style of our buttons. So looking at these buttons right here, they're kind of rounded ovals. We could change that to sharp. So they are just straight on square. We have the default, so the more rounded edges or the completely rounded oval look. Now, after we've messed around with this and played with it, say we don't like this template, we can go back to our templates and change that template right here. So let's go ahead and we have that. We will have to completely regenerate it, but it looks like it saves all of the stuff that we've entered right here. And here we can change our website content totally and completely. So we can edit our header. We can have our website title. We can add an icon. We can add any buttons. Right now we have a buy and we have a home. We can change our styles. We can, you know, change the page name or we can add any translations to it. If we need to add a new element, we can do so by clicking on this little layers here. We can add any of our website pages right here. So this is what our website are about will look like. 
we can rename it, we could duplicate it, we could copy the slug, we could edit the SEO, we could delete it, we can check the analytics of it, we can lock it so we can't change it at all, anything like that. We can also grab an AI assistant to help us make these changes themselves. So if we want to add maybe a call to action, we can have that and we can have our AI buddy write our call to action for us. We can also change our SEO settings right here. So we can add an image or we could add any tags and we can also take a look at what the preview is going to look like right here. So this is what it's going to look like in the search engine when they search it. Now we can also change our design from this section right here. Say that we've been working on it and we decide that, hey, maybe I want this page to be like maybe a little bit different. We can change that theme right here. Now from here, we can also adjust our website settings. We can take a look at our page analytics. We can also check out our email collection. So as we go to our website settings, we are able to pull it up here. And this is gonna be our subdomain. We can change our website icon, our language, we can add translation, we can add our custom 404 page, we could add a badge, we can delete our website if we don't really want it. We have our billing, we can adjust our domain so we can add a custom domain, we can set our time zone. We can also add any integrations right here. There's a lot to choose from. We have Google Analytics, you know, there's Typeform, Customerly, Testimonial, a bunch of different widgets that you can choose from. You can also add any social media links right here. And if you have some code that you want to embed, you can embed it for your header or for the body or for the footer right here. If we want to take a look at our analytics, we can just select this analytics right here. And this is going to show us, you know, how many unique visitors we have, how many total page views we have. We don't have anything right here, but we can kind of see it right down here in the background of what all we can see down below. So we'll be able to see our top sources, the top pages, any the locations that our website was visited at, how many devices and what types of devices were used, and how many views were turned into conversions. So how many people actually reached out to us. If we want to upload any assets, we can do so right here by going to this asset page and then it's just gonna be a simple image uploader. We've all seen this a million times before. We can click and upload a file from our computer or we can just drag and drop that file right here. We can also select our brand colors. You can click on it to change the color and it will pull up the generic color picker as we all are familiar with. We can also change our font settings. So if we want a specific font to always be at the header, we can choose that right here. And there are plenty of different fonts for you to choose from. I do notice they're not in alphabetical order, which kind of drives me nuts a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm curious, can we search? So if we have, okay, we can go ahead and search, but it's a little weird that they're not in alphabetical order, especially if there are going to be multiple types of the same font. Additionally, we could set our paragraph font, any subtitles and any other fonts that we want right here. We can also click on this little arrow right down here and we can adjust the font size. We can also adjust the font weight. So if we want it bolder, we can set to how bold we want or to how thin we want. We can also set the line height. So how close together each line of text will be as well as the letter spacing. So the amount of space between each letter right here. And we can adjust these settings for every single header type, every single body type, the subtitles, what have you. Let's go ahead and reset all of these. Here we can add an AI assistant so we can train our own AI employee to help us grow our business. So it says, hello, how can I help you? And then I can say, how can I get more people 
to be my site i can ask and here it will give me suggestions on how to get more people to view and visit my websites we have optimized for search engines we can leverage social media we can utilize email marketing it did kind of cut it off a little bit i see but we can go ahead and have it continue writing so if it's not going in the direction that we want it to we can say no 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 i don't this isn't when I'm thinking, this is actually what I want. And it's not going to, you know, give us this massive list of things that we don't really need. Next, we can take a look at our pages. We can edit the page. We can go ahead and view it, make sure that it looks exactly like we want. We can edit the search engine optimization. And we can also see when it was last updated. Now, if we have a page that we don't really want to use anymore, we can select this little trash can icon and we can go ahead and delete that right here. We'll get the prompt. Do we want to delete this permanently? I do. Let's go ahead and delete it. And it's gone. Finally, we do have a checklist. So this is going to be a checklist of things to do to make sure that your page is up and running. So we can, you know, take a look at part one, how to use pineapple. And say we've done all of this we can hit this fancy little done button and it is now check marked so we can add pages to create our website which we have already done we can customize our website hooder our colors and fonts we can add more sections update the content of our page this is all stuff that we kind of did earlier but these are going to be the steps to make sure that your website is completely up and running now as we are back at our dashboard we can see our website and we have quick actions to edit it. We can go to our, the dashboard, we can take a look at our settings, and we can also take a look at the billing. All right. And that is Pineapple Builder. All in all, I'd probably give it a 4.5. It was super easy to use. It was quick in the generation. There's a lot for me to customize and change, and it had a bunch of different options for you to do. It was all super simple. It wasn't super overwhelming. I do wish that it had more basic templates. All of the templates just kind of look the same, but different colors. So I wish it had a little bit more. Ideally, I know that you can, I could go in and change it and make it look exactly like what I wanted, but I do wish that it automatically did some of that for me. Additionally, I really wish those fonts were in alphabetical order scrolling through and having it all just kind of be a jumbled mess was not ideal and while there was a search function it still would just be nice to have that all in a nice alphabetical easy to look at order now if you have any questions comments concerns on the video please do not hesitate to put them below in the comment section and as always i will see you next time